Yeah, well, it's good. What's what, he's, a, he's a typical center defender. I mean, him and Chad both are, are massive in stature, so that's huge. Um, tonight was a night where that was going to be the key battle, was their two star forwards against our two center backs, and that, that's what it was going to be. Um, and, and, and our two came out on top, along with our goalkeeper as well. Um, so in saying that, it was a, a good night for those guys. When fans around the league watch this game and say, what can our teams do, you know, based on what these, obviously Javinko's out there, Ladero's out there, they're yeah. in a class of their own. But Torres seems to be the kind of player that any team in MLS can go out and get. Is he the yeah. kind of guy that you think is sort of a model signing for MLS in some ways? Yeah, I think it's, it's interesting because for me, I don't, you know, a captain of a national team, his desire was to come to MLS and, and to come to Seattle. So I don't know the backstory behind it or how it came to fruition. But it's all about spending money at some point, and if you don't do it, you find yourself, you know, by the wayside. Um, so you got to have a good balance, though. It can't just be one amazing player and the rest are, you know, below caliber to, to win championships. So that's that's up to the front office. So for me, I'm I'm very lucky to be surrounded by really good players, and you know, in, in both teams that I've played on and win a, win a bunch of championships. So it's a, it's a culmination of a lot of hard work, and and you know, the guys upstairs as well. You What's mentioned your head when, when Stefan makes that save. Yeah, I know. The, the momentum swings for me in my mind. It's like, all right, you know, that, that, that's a massive one. That's a, that's a world-class save. That's one that is a, that's a legendary save. Do you feel like the soccer gods were with you right yeah, now? Yeah, of course, yeah. And, and, you know, he comes up big again in the penalty kicks. Um, you know, yeah, like I said, it, it's a crapshoot from there, but he also makes a timely save, and that gives us confidence moving forward. Yeah, you, you've talked about Stefan and, and, and that save today, but obviously, how big has he been during this whole run? Obviously, he's been, he's been a key part. Every, everybody's been key to this, and I, you know, when everybody thought it was our demise, it was our demeanor in the locker room, and and you'll hear it echoed tonight. It was the guys were so even keel, we were so close on so many occasions to to getting on the right side of a result that it was we felt more unlucky at times. We never came in and said, you know, what what's this guy doing here? What's that guy doing here? It was always like. All right, it's gonna swing our way, and when it does, we're gonna get on a good run of form, and and, and we did that. Um, you know, the addition of Nico helps. Obviously, Jordan gets hot at the right time. Um, but yeah, obviously, Steph has been a cog. You know, we weren't leaking goals this season. That wasn't the case. Uh, so it, you know, he, he's been massive for us since he arrived in Seattle. How happy are you for Zach Scott? Go. How happy are you for Zach Scott? Yeah, huge. I mean, you send a send off like this is what you dream about, um, and, and you can ask him yourself. He's he's more than more than elated. Uh, he's put in a lot of a lot of time with this team, and you know he's won championships in USL. But to win it now is to be sent off with a with a championship is is it's just awesome. I, I mean, he's such a great guy and a really really good friend. Um, I can't say enough words about it.